Today I'm going to show you how to configure a Mindray EPM series monitor to be able to talk to xchart.com. First thing you need to do is go to the main menu over here and we're going to scroll over until we get to system and select maintenance. And we're going to type uh, all uppercase here MIN332. If you want, you can hit this little eyeball over here and you can actually see the password. You can see what you typed, make sure you typed it correctly. Hit OK. And now <clears throat> there's two, two settings we're going to change here. If you go use these little arrows, you can kind of navigate across the top. And we're going to go to the other tab first. And then here in parameter output setup, we're going to tap that. Make sure that it matches what you're seeing here on the screen. So it's going to be 38400. Uh, parity mode is none. Data bits is eight. Stop bits is one. Uh, this is talking about the physical connection settings, like in terms of the signals that get sent across that serial cable. The second thing we're going to need to do, we're going to go all the way over. We're going to go to factory maintenance. And then on the left hand side here, you want to select setup. And then we're going to click update ID module. Okay. So this ID module needs to be the code that you're seeing here on the screen. First of all, the module port should be one. And then you want to make sure it says 6000 A and then three zeros. It's just I'll put it on the screen to make sure it's real obvious. And then you want to hit confirm and the monitor will beep to confirm if you've changed it. Okay. And at this point, those are the settings we need. That really should be it. And the next thing we need to do is just hook up the cable. For the mind rays, there are two specific components, uh, cables that you'll need. Um, first of all is the one that you can get from mind ray. So they have this kind of proprietary connector on one end, and then that takes it to just a kind of a standard serial port on this side. So the very first thing, you need to get this from Mindray. Um, they charge, I think, like 95 bucks for it. At least they do as the time of this recording. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. You get it from them, um, and we can connect you with someone who can help you get it if, that's, if you don't have one. And it goes in this port all the way over here on the left, and it just fits in like that. You still have the VGA out port. If you use that to display the contents of the screen on another monitor, you can still do that as well. This is using a separate port here. Um, and then from that, you just need a cable to take from, so that goes from serial to something you can plug into your laptop, which, you know, USB or USB-C. And um, if you go to xchart.com slash recommended, you can see kind of a list of links to Amazon for various cables that we recommend that, that have worked well for us. But this is just like a standard kind of Amazon type piece you can get. It doesn't need to come from Mindray or anything. And you'll just want to make sure that this you have a good snug connection between these two. And then you can plug this and do it directly into your computer. Okay, so now we have xchart.com open. We've uh, opened a particular case here that we want to use. Everything's hooked up. You can see the USB cable is plugged in here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Connect Vitals Monitor up here in the corner. And we're, of course, going to select Mindray Serial Port. And then uh, you want to go to Show Connection Selector. And you may have multiple items here. There are sometimes like internal serial cables or, or, or serial connections or other things that you may have hooked up to your computer. The one thing to make absolute sure you connect the right one is just to be able to unplug it and plug it back in. So the one that disappears and comes back is definitely the one that you want. So go ahead and do that and select the one that we showed up and hit connect. And now it's connected. It's just saying, hey, the monitor is sending blank values. Uh, likely this means everything's working, but the patient is not hooked up to any sensors, which is in fact the case here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say just use this connection. Now, you can actually leave it in this state. You see the blue bar here at the top shows us that we have an active connection to the monitor. And at this point, if you bring in the patient and you sit them down, or, and you start you know, hooking up sensors. So here I have just an SPO2. As soon as it gets a real value from one of these, I'm gonna put this on my finger, it's gonna just start recording it. So of course it takes a second for it to recognize the SPO2. There we go. It should now show up and there it is. So as soon as it does that, if you go over to vitals, you'll see, first of all, it, we do have some data that we're starting to record here. And if you go to monitor setup, you'll see that it selected heart rate and oxygen saturation, which are the two things we can get out of this thing. So um, 
at this point, just kind of start, keep hooking up monitors to the patient. And uh, you can just kind of keep an eye over here on the vitals page, make sure everything looks good. Uh, make sure you're connecting, you know, getting the values you're expecting. But basically the way it works is if it gets values that seem like real values, it will automatically select that type of uh, item to monitor and then um, start, you know, keeping track of it for you on your vitals page. So really that's it. I hope this has been helpful. Um, don't hesitate to contact us if you have questions. Um, thanks so much for trying us out. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye.